Okay, hey, you chose a very different, difficult topic. Printing nowadays. And on top of that, you, you, you chose to be very ambitious. You actually wanted to convince us that printing was something meaningful nowadays. So that in itself, it's a big challenge and a big remark and a positive note on your side. It's hard to say that but because we're all HP people, but that's the reality. And great job. Uh, I did see the, the, the exercise was a lot about uh, vocal variety, and I did see a lot of that, and I think you met the objectives. There's some good highlights. I think the goal was very ambitious. To convince people is always very hard, and to do that, you need to use solid arguments, like numbers that you showed. That's one, and also be emotional, and show examples of your future grand, not grand. Uh, you be the godmother, and her name means in English, no? So those are the two things that you actually use and very powerful to convince the audience that this is a minimum, a minimum, a meaningful topic to worry about. Things to improve. I like those as well. So the, the, the exercise for today is actually about vocal variety, not intensity. So it means that it, you're forced to actually go up and go down and go up and go down. I did see a lot of, uh, on average, I see a lot of uh, a higher intensity than previous speeches, which is good. You, you actually speak louder and people get you clear. I saw very good examples of silences, but if you remember Florian's topic of four years ago, there's actually four types of rhythms, no? So it's fast and slow and then low and high. So play more with those, I think it would be something to enhance, and then when you talk about a tiny little person that is about, no, and then go very strong about make it matter, no, it's, it's those things that we're looking for. The other thing, it's a kind of a logistics thing, but he had the laptop here, and every now and then he had to come back, change the slide, and then go back, and you may have lost some, some people when you went here and come back, so uh, it's hard to think about that. What I try to do is that, while you are away, you leave people thinking. And silence is a good way to that, and rhetorical questions are also great for that. So it also gives services as an introduction to the slide that's about to come. So don't let the slide introduce itself. You introduce the slide, because he's, he's, there. he's your aide. He, you know, he's not before you. So you say, do you know how many people print or think printing is relevant? Good number. So those are the kind of things that will help you, uh, in the end, it's managed the, the logistics that you have. And all in all, thank you very much. It was a great speech. Good work.